Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? The method we're going to use is the scale factor method, and it's going to make it very easy for us to do percentage increases and decreases, also very useful for a wide variety of other um, topics in maths, such as ratios, proportions, inverse proportion, um, length, area and volume scale factors, and so on. So one method is going to make it easy for us to do loads of, of different things in maths, which is always very good. So we start off with an example. I put a thousand pounds into a bank account, and it pays 20% interest. How much do I have in total after one year? Okay, so very easy question to start off with, but it's going to help us to get the method right. And once we've got the method right, even very complicated questions are going to become quite straightforward. So, the £1,000 is what we've put into the bank account to start off with, so that's our original amount. So £1,000 is the original amount. Now the original amount is always assigned a percentage of 100%. So the original amount, £1,000, is 100%. Now, the bank is going to add 20% to that. So, at the end of it, we're going to have the 100% of the original amount we had, plus the 20% on top. So we don't want to calculate the 20%, we want to calculate the total amount. So we want to work out 120%. And we want to work out what that becomes. Now this is the, the clever trick which is going to help us with all of these. To get from here to here, the scale factor is times 120 over 100. The bottom one over the top one. And it's always that way, the bottom one over the top one. And so on the other side we're going to use exactly the same scale factor times 120 over 100, and so our answer here is going to be found by 1,000 pounds times 120 over 100, times 120 over 100, and so that gives us our answer, stick it in the calculator, 1,200 pounds. And so there's our final answer. Okay, so that's a straightforward example, and now we'll move on to a slightly um, more involved example. Okay, so we move on to our second example. A laptop computer costs £200 excluding sales tax. We want to know if the sales tax is 17.5%, what is the total price going to be of that computer? So I start off by saying £200 goes to 100%. 100% is the original price, which in the case of sales tax means the price before any taxes have been added on. So in this case, £200 is before any tax have been added on, so that's assigned 100%. I want to add 17.5% to it, so I want the original price plus another 17.5%, so I want to work out 117.5%. And now, again, that same trick, the scale factor on this side is times 117.5 over 100, and so we're going to use the same scale factor on this side times 117.5 over 100, and so our, our answer which goes here will be found by following this calculation. 200 pounds times 117.5 over 100. And that gives us, again, stick it in the calculator, our answer is being 235 pounds. Okay, so that's again another example um, where we're doing a percentage increase. The technique becomes, uh, the questions become more difficult when somebody's already made the percentage increase and we need to remove it, and so that's the next example we're going to do. Our next example, a TV costs £376, including 17.5% sales tax. We want to know how much was the sales tax on that purchase. This is a much more difficult question, but because we're going to use exactly the same method, we're not going to find it that much more difficult, as long as we assign the numbers correctly. The £376 is not 100%. Because it already includes the 17.5%, remember 100% would be the original price before any tax has been added on. This includes 17.5% tax, so this is 117.5%. It's the 100% original price and the 17.5% tax already included on there. We want to work out the tax, and we know the tax is just 17.5%. And so, using our scale factor method, 
times 17.5 over 117.5 and using the same scale factor here times 17.5 over 117.5 and so our answer which goes in here would be found by following this calculation 376 pounds times 17.5 over 117.5 And again, stick it in the calculator to get your answer, 56 pounds. A much harder question, but the technique is exactly the same. Okay, and one more question we need to do on this, which is probably the most tricky question that students ha uh, find with this topic. So this time we have a laptop computer. It costs 235 pounds, including 17.5% sales tax. And we want to know what its price is gonna become if the rate of sales tax increases to 20%. Now the common mistake with this question, when students try and answer it, is they try and add on 2.5%. And the reason that's wrong is because it's not 2.5% of £235 that you're supposed to be adding on, it's 2.5% of the original price, the price before any tax was included, which we don't know. So you can't just add on 2.5%, that would be wrong. But if we use our same method, we're not going to have any problems at all. So this £235, we know it includes 17.5% tax, so it's the 100% which is the original price, plus the 17.5% tax, so it's 117.5%. We want to know the price if the tax rate is 20%. Now if the tax rate is 20%, you've got the original price and 20% of tax, so it's 120% that we want. And now it's just a case of applying the scale factor method. Multiply by 120 over 117.5. Multiply by 120 over 117.5. Our answer, which would go here, would be found by following this calculation. 235 pounds times 120 over 117.5. And that gives us our answer, again, using the calculator of 240 pounds. And that's the correct um, price if the tax rate were to increase. And that's the scale factor method, best method for dealing with these types of questions.